You're here live with James Tiz. Here with my dude Christian Lestat Bussier. Hopefully I pronounced his last name right. Did I pronounce it right? Yeah? Okay. Um, basically what we're going to do, we're going to do Beat Making 101 with James Tiz. Uh, what we're going to use today is we're going to use the Roland Phantom G. Uh, 67 key workstation sampler. You know, it does all that good stuff uh, for those uh, beat heads and uh, producers and artists and rappers and singers and people who are familiar with this piece of equipment. I'm sure you guys know what it can do. Uh, those who don't know what it can do, I'm about to show you. Uh, we're going to try to make a banger. Uh, probably probably going to do a club banger. Um, within 5-10 minutes, we're going to try to do that. Um, first and foremost, I want to give a shout out to uh, the cats that robbed my studio back in 07, 08, um, or might I say cat, one of the two. Um, I appreciate that. Thank you so much. God bless you. I know who you are, and I'm going to continue to do what you do to me. Smile in my face, and the smile in yours. By the way, uh, people, I guess, nowadays don't realize that uh, there's something called renter's insurance, which I don't know. I mean, people who own something or rent something, obviously, they get this thing that's called insurance for when they rent. So everything that y'all stole, I got back. So God bless you. I appreciate it. And, uh, is there anything you want to add, huh? Well, yeah, uh, did you watch my newest cop video? I heard you wanted to leave some comments about that one. I did, I did. What's, your, what's his name, your boy? Uh, J.C. Nichols. I did see that. Um, it's a shame, you know, that that happened. Um, I know a few years back, I got pulled over, uh, by the Erie Police, uh, several times, and they searched my car. Um, I know, you know, today I, I know several people, several several guys and a, a woman that uh, actually work for the Erie Police Department. I truly believe in my heart that they're genuine people, that they're good people. Um, you know, it's in no matter what you're in, no matter if you cook food or you're a police officer or whatever, you, you're going to have bad apples in there regardless. You know, some people have that ego, that ego trip, that power trip, whatever it may be, but, um, you know, God bless the, the good police officers, and, uh, and the bad ones, fuck y'all, you know, I mean, they're here to protect and serve, but sometimes, you know, you, you, you wonder, but, uh, I know that the ones that I know, they're really genuine, God bless them, I ain't gonna say no names, by the way, by the way, I ain't gonna say no names about the cats that robbed my studio, I do know who you are, I'm not a rat, so I ain't gonna rat on you, but I know who you is, um, so let's get to this, we gonna do beat making 101, we're going to do a club banger. We're going to try, anyway, to the best of uh, our ability. Again, we're using the Rolling Phantom G. Um, let's see, I guess we're going to go with a tempo of 98, I guess we'll go with. Uh, the only thing I did is I preloaded all my sounds. Um, I have all my sounds preloaded for, for what I have in my mind of what I want to do. And uh, most people who make beats, they use a... Uh, a metronome, and for those of you who don't know what a metronome is, basically it's uh, a click of your tempo, whatever you set your tempo at, it clicks, basically, so it can keep you on beat. I sometimes uh, like to make beats without the tempo, or the metronome, just because sometimes it makes it kind of dirty, you know, it makes it a, a little off, but yet on. At the end, I'll probably quantize it all, and then we'll, we'll find the, uh, the final project here later on. We're going to start with a Congo drum. Um, then what I like to do is just, just cut it up real quick. Move it where I want it, cut it. Sounds a little off, but we gonna get to it. Let's move that, cut that up a little bit. Add our other bongo drum. Yeah. 
that up. Basically what I do when I do this is put it in there, move it around, set it kind of like you people do um, on Fruity Loops or Reason or whatever you use. I like to use the keyboard. Basically everything Reason can do, this keyboard can do as well. So. See, this next sound I'm going to put in here is actually a sound that I made. You just don't come stock in here. So if you do decide to buy this keyboard, this sound will not be in here. Nor will any of those drums. I added them myself. I made them myself. So uh, if you guys need drums, some hot drums, haul at me. Let me know. Shout out to Trauma Drums, by the way. Traumajums.com. Uh, Sick drums. I'm letting you all know. Y'all didn't know about it. Go check it out. www.traumadrums.com. He giving away free kits. The stuff is hot. I actually made the drums myself, yes. Like the actual drum. Like well, I didn't make the actual drum, obviously. I didn't make the actual drum. I took a drum basically from an old drum pattern, a uh, drum kit, and basically what I did is I basically just flipped it, added reverb, EQ, whatever it is. So you're right. I didn't actually physically make it. Although this clap, I did clap into the, into the, the microphone, so yes, that is mine. Let's hold our questions to the end of the session, I just please. muted that. <laughs> okay. Did you Sorry know? about that. Well, no, that's cool. That he, no, I like that he asked me that, though. That was pretty cool. Um, let's see here. melody, which is always the fun part. some of these sounds out. We're going to do a bass line. Uh, let's see, I'm going to just do it without the music. Just It has more feeling, I guess, that way. Let me start over. on to our next sound real quick. Trying to stay under what I got a couple minutes. Left.
like it. I like it. We're going to add some strings. part since I missed it. Alright. Alright, now that I got all the sounds that I want, let me just give me 20 seconds to just cut this up. And I'm going to show you what we have left so far. Basically what I'm doing is I'm just putting everything where I want it. Um, obviously I'm not going to really get into a deep mix down due to the fact that we're, we don't have much time here. Christian, so bear with me. Obviously, we're gonna have more coming on YouTube, Spotlight TV, here at PA Cop Watch, all that. Um, that's me making 101 with James Tiss, live and direct here at PA. God bless all you, especially the haters. I love you. God bless you. Thank you for doing what you do because you help me do what I do 100% better. You know, on the uh, on the page or whatnot. Christian said he's gonna let me put it on my page too, so we'll just go from there. Any questions or comments, whether it's bad or good, just get that on.